been set. A narcissist will tell you what they think of you and they act as if it's true. A narcissist will have observations about you that hurt and they want you to actually swallow it like it's delicious. And you're like, that's shit. I'm not going to eat that. You know? <laughs> They're fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> okay. So, so, okay. So I'm living with this guy before I figured it out. It took me that long. It took, it took me that long. I didn't know. I didn't have the language because I was thinking that this person was like what I've always dreamed of because they actually conform and mirror you. And then when you got them, when they, when they have you, like when I moved in, the day I moved in with the, the guy that's three hours away that I um, do not consider a very good person. And I also think that this individual needs therapy badly and that he's never going to have a relationship that's healthy because he's not. I'm jumping around, but feel this. If you're having a good day, the, the narc will create an argument because they thrive on confrontation. All three of them did that. If you're having a great day, they want to wreck it. Makes them feel better. If you're happy, they want to make you feel not happy because they're miserable fucks. Actually, they actually become really bad in bed too because they lose the ability because they don't have the heart genitalia connection. It's just all below the waist. And so therefore, they never have the ability to circulate the energy and create um, a generator within their bodies. And they're uh, eventually, they become impotent, limp-dicked, and um, incapable of making love to a truly great woman, which is what I am. I know it. So, um, 